Hey guys, like always, welcome back to Primetime Studios. I'm your host, Primetime Phil, and today I want to discuss with you the defensive back position for the Dallas Cowboys and the most recent signing of Malik Hooker and what it means for our defense and the pros and cons that comes with that signing. If you were a fan like me, we were never really satisfied with the defensive backfield in previous years, and I think those doubts were always rewarded in the sense of the yards they would give up. We had good corners with Byron Jones and Chidibe Awuzie, always at the hip of the receiver. The only problem was they weren't great corners, with Chidibe still allowing the reception and Byron only, only knocking the ball away. Now, people would make the argument, well, hey, that's what I want my corner to do. That's what I pay him for, to make sure that receiver doesn't catch the ball. And that's okay when you have a roster full of those people, two or three of those, and you have one guy that will make that interception. Byron Jones had a 12-foot broad jump. What was he scared of making an interception for? He just didn't have that desire to want to because he was afraid of the outcome if he failed. And I think you don't have that in the locker room now. With such a very young group, one can make the argument, where's the leadership coming from? With an extremely talented but very young Trayvon Diggs, which improved every single game last year, even though he got beat, which I mean, you're in the NFL, it's going to happen. He still came back and made great plays and honestly improved through the years. That's why I think you sign Anthony Brown to help with the veteran leadership. And I mean, he's only been in the league for three or four years, but it's enough compared to the rest of the locker room. And if you were to take Anthony Brown out of the equation, I think you have an amazing secondary coach in Al Harris, a guy that used to play for the Green Bay Packers and had a heck of a NFL Pro Bowl caliber career. And now since he's retired, he's gone into coaching. And honestly, we're very lucky to have him on our team. With training camp already on the way in Oxnard, California, I think it's very easy to get excited about these rookies like Israel Makumu, Nashawn Wright, and of course, Kelvin Joseph. These guys have already been making plays in training camp and you're hoping that transitions to actual live games. can never have enough of is definitely depth on the roster. And I think injuries last year definitely proved that. And one guy that adds a seventh cornerback to the roster of our core corners is a guy that happens to be our special team leader in CJ Goodwin. A guy that we were able to re-sign this offseason and was a very big key role because honestly he brings that depth without having to jump into the practice squad and bring somebody up because you've lost a corner or he's down. Now on to the big news this past week is of course the signing of Malik Hooker. A big difference maker and a ball hawking safety that this defense has needed in a very long time. It's nice to see Dallas actually address the situation and take a chance on a guy that had a horrific injury last year. He's a guy that comes in and he has his pros and cons. And of course, the pros definitely outweigh the con because you know what you're getting when you sign him. You know you're only going to have him for four to seven games in the season because eventually he will get hurt. But when he is in there, you have that feeling that you have a ball hawking safety that is going to make a play and give this offense another chance when they are possibly struggling, which we've seen them do in the past. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the defensive backfield. Is it something you're hyped about or you're really kind of scared like you've been in previous years, not knowing what's exactly coming? I know I'm excited because Dan Quinn's behind it and you've got, of course, Al Harris. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Heck the hell that like button. And like always, make sure you ring that bell.